Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. Good to be with you again. <laughs> the, uh, Lord, the Lord keeps an unusual schedule sometimes. <laughs> Thanks, Doug, for putting that sure. uh, camera up. Remember, it used to take like a half hour, hour to do that stuff. Now Doug does it in like 30 seconds. <laughs> but today's the feast of St. John Vianney, the parish uh, patron saint of parish priests. So as we prepare to enter these sacred and holy mysteries, we first acknowledge our own sin. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin. Bring <coughs> us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest St. John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant we pray that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Reading from the book of Numbers, the Lord said to Moses in the desert, desert of Paran, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for 40 days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh, made a report to them all and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, we went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there. Amalekites live in the region of the Negev. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands. And Canaanites along the seacoast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the men who had gone up with him said, we cannot attack these people, they are too strong for us. So, so they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, The land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants, and all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seen to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, How long will this wicked assembly grumble, grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, by my life, said the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here in the desert they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm, Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. 
Remember us, O Lord, Lord as you favor your people. people. But soon they forgot your works. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. A little bit about uh, St. John Vianney. He was born near Lyon, France in 1786 and overcome many obstacles to reach the priesthood. He didn't do real well in his studies. They had a hard time, especially with the Latin. He governed and wonderfully promoted the parish entrusted to him in the village of Ars through preaching, mortification, prayer, and love. He was gifted in helping penitents, and people came from all over for advice. He died in 1859. So we may be thinking in our mind, St. John Vianney, they must have sent him to the big Paris suburban parish, and everyone has iPads, and they have all the resources and everything they need. And, but uh, ours was uh, a small village really struggling. And the beauty of St. John Vianney was his simplicity. And his simplicity and how he ministered to the people. And um, so today we, we celebrate his life and ask his intercession. The book of Numbers today. The people, they go and they say, it's true, where you sent us has all these things that you promised us, all this great food and everything. But the people are big. <laughs> They're scary. They're scary. Sometimes, even when we're in a difficult place, a bad place, it, it can become comfortable. We become accustomed to it. And if God is calling us to something else, even if it's really good or even better, we may resist a little bit because it's not familiar. It's easier to stay in the mess and to experience uh, the freedom. There's a risk in that because it's new and we don't know what's going to happen. So some of that happening today with the Israelites. And then Jesus with the Canaanite woman, something about her faith is so simple, so beautiful. And he says, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. Jesus never takes the credit for doing the things himself. He'll all the things like, it was your faith that saved you. How great is your faith? So 
for us, it isn't um, the power of God that's the question. We know that God is all-powerful and all-knowing and all-loving. But what is, our, uh, what is our belief in that? How much do we really embrace it? It doesn't mean that everything will go the way we want all the time. Right? That means we still endure struggle, endure pain, and even tragedy. But as we journey through those things in life, do we stay connected with the Lord who tells us that not even death has power over us? That even in death, God wins and life wins and mercy wins, all of those things. So today we ask God to give thanks for his St. John Vianney because he lived and uh, preached that message to all of his people. And we ask God today to help us God's calling us to step outside of ourselves, not to get comfortable in the mess, but to go wherever it is God wants us. Let us pray. For Pope Francis and all his brother bishops around the world, may the Lord bless and protect them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For police, firefighters, first responders, and others who keep our community safe, may the Lord protect and guide them in all they do. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who care for the sick or infirm, may the Lord give them strength in their daily work. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord increase our faith and help us when we falter. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may the Lord shine his light of peace upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For Ted Smith, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all of the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, help us grow in our faith and love of you, so that we may experience your answer to these petitions. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord will accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed St. John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For as on the festival of St. John Vianney, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe and answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory and glory. Was on our the highest and the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is on the highest in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim the Lord, Lord and the Lord and the resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth, all on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into your temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, our glory for yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit, spirit. spirit. Share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should show me through my memory, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed John the end, that we may per preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation and trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. Just to give everybody a little advance notice, uh, as I'll be away next week on vacation, live streaming may happen uh, once or twice next week. So just to give you a little uh, heads up. Have a great day. Thank you.